What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and this one is going to be a little quick update video on what I found yesterday within the reveal stream trailer. So DLC 2 reveal stream is later today. Expect to see plenty of that hard mode action. I do look forward to it. The stream reveal trailer yesterday was dropped which was 33 seconds of goodness. Check it out right here on screen now if you haven't seen it already. Okay, so within this trailer yesterday, I pointed out the return of the Suicide Regime and possibly the Icebreaker. That video can be found on my channel if you missed it. It's quite easy to spot the Stugos. It's in your face for a few seconds. The Icebreaker though, not confirmed at this time, is a little harder to see. The weapon this video is going to be all about was one I missed and everybody missed yesterday, but a legend of Twitter by the name of Puxian555 pointed this out to me and to be honest, I was shocked. What I believe we see here is a no land beyond or some kind of variant and that can be seen right at the start of the trailer for literally a split second, no wonder we all missed it. You can see its shape and you can also see that bolt action mechanic the no land beyond is famous for. And this is just amazing if this is what I believe it will be, the no land beyond version 2 or maybe even just the exact same weapon with a few minor changes in design. Either way, it has me hyped. If you guys remember my D1 days, I loved the Nolan Beyond, even though I wasn't very good with it at all, I still love the weapon, I still love trying, and to see what looks to be this within this trailer does get me hyped indeed. You know what this actually reminds me of, which has been available to see in-game from the very start? The sniper rifle Devrim K is using within the EDZ, check it out on screen now. And actually seeing this, I actually think this will be the weapon we get to chase come May 8th. It bears basically the exact same size that wrapping around the barrel is seen within this trailer on this Guardian's back. So I'm guessing this will be the weapon, but you can see it's basically a no land beyond with a bit of tape wrapped around the edge. And to be honest, I don't care how much they change its looks, as long as it works the same way as it did in D1, I am happy. Now we wait until the major expansion this fall, where weapon slot changes are introduced because this will no doubt arrive as a power weapon. Maybe Bungie will give it a new name also because people will say the exotic thing about the Nolan Beyond was it's the primary. If it ain't called the Nolan Beyond, people can't bitch about it. Or will it be the Nolan Beyond and will it be a primary weapon? Wouldn't that be absolutely amazing? To be honest, the way Crucible is going now, the direction Bungie are taking it, I wouldn't be surprised if that's actually the case and this drops as a primary or secondary that would be so good, it's unreal. But let me know what you think about this down below in that comments section. Were you also a fan of the No Land Beyond? Was it a weapon you enjoyed using? Let me know. But thanks as always for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video and are hyped about the No Land Beyond returning, hit that like button. Again, thanks for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.